Welcome to Entertainment and Web Learning K8. Now we continue on uh, creating a secure login system. The first, we created uh, the login form. So now we uh, open the subline tick. Here is a demo for the for storing the file. I created a new file. Okay, or we have a new file and then uh, we save it. We save it in the ID attach H G dot and then the mode. In this one we will save it as a register PHP. And save it. So now it's the uh, register PHP and the form is in the HTML language, so I will create high in HTML. Here we see that the uh, doc type, so we don't need uh, that declaration here. And we can add the uh, title, we can add the metadata here. Then we will uh, continue to create the form for login and this form uh, we will create it here form with the form take and the action is we leave it blank and then the method is post because the data here is the uh, Send the photo and the file so we have a, the entire is multi yeah. it is a form data so now we have a close for the form and after that we will uh, create the the label for the form so I mean first one is the, the we have the title for the form so this one and, the, and the, this is the look register form and then uh, we give uh, the label the label is a uh, label for the username or the ID yes. Pass. 
but Look like this. And let me uh, give it a break, a form break, yes. You press F5, you see that now it is a form break, and if you add it, it's a number you can change. What we have to do this is the to use the form here and send the data to the I mean uh, we work uh, you must have the PHP code to send the data from the form into the MySQL server. But first we will have to create the database for the MySQL to store the user data and for the and also for the login. So let's go to the XUL job and then here you can create a new database I create a new database and I call it the demo Before greater set you can set before nothing uh, to for the tie here So now you will have the demo here and you can create table we call here there is no table yet so I create a table and the table here now uh, will be a uh, user so, and we can edit the database under the demo and the tracer set and gene and location so we don't need to have anything and then we have the column so you create the column name first is uh, the first column would be ID and the data type would be used uh, integer, integer, or you can use a big integer. Yes, because we can uh, store more more data here. And the length here, the length can uh, yeah, a thousand or ten length, ten digit. It doesn't ten digit. And the default and it is not now auto increment. If uh, you want to make it auto increment, it means that uh, when you type in the ID, it increases automatically. So we don't need uh, to use the auto increment because uh, we have a different ID, and the IDs might be uh, deleted or removed from the system. So we don't need the uh, increment here. We will just uh, let the user key in any ID, but we will make the validation that uh, the ID is uh, unique. So it would be a private key here. That means the ID is unique, it cannot uh, have the same ID. And it must be not enough. So we have the ID and then uh, we have the password. So we have the password. And the password would be the text. 
so take this uh, can be missing okay and this one is not free not now so we are in to the form we only create these two two information but if you want uh, to add more this is okay if you want to add a uh, file or anything what is okay but now I only uh, create how to create the system the in system probably only uh, the mode on the user and the password then we sell the table create it successfully so then we view the table you see you have here history here we have uh, the ID and the password so this one is a uh, ID and the password and here is the click document so there is no, no data in here yet then we have uh, the page the HTML page the PHP page and uh, the MySQL the, 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 the database what we need more is the PHP and the configuration file and the condition. So the the next the next video I will tell you on how to create the the PHP the, the to write down the PHP and how to connect from the uh, PHP to the MySQL. Thank you for watching.